Dear students, you are welcome in the education department at Shahid Association. Our lesson today is instant and duration. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. We have one objective for today. We will distinguish between instant and duration. As we saw in the Explore section, that the used instrument for measuring time is called the watch. Today, we will take in deep the time. But first, let's define the instant. The instant is the time at which an event takes place. It is measured using the watch. We have two different types of watches, the analog watch and the digital watch. We will take the analog watch. In this watch, we have three indicators. The short one is for the hours. The longer one is for the minutes. And the final one, the red one, is for the seconds. Now we will write the time in the first watch. The shorter one indicates 10, so the hour is 10. The longer one for the minutes indicates 12, so we write two zeros. The red one is on the 38, so we write 38. The time indicated in this hour is 10, 0 minutes and 38 seconds. In the second watch, the short one is on 3, so we write 0, 3, and the hour is a 3. The longer one is on a 12, so we write 0, 0. The final one indicates on the 10, so we write 50. So the time indicated is a 3 hours, 0 minutes, and 50 seconds. Let's do the following example. This ant is in journey. So the departure time for the ant is 2, 0, 0, and 25 seconds. Its arrival instant is 3, 0, 0, 50 seconds. Now, let's take the duration. The duration is the time interval separating two instants. To calculate the duration, let's do the following activity. Suppose an event starts at 1 a.m. and it ends at 1.25 a.m. To calculate the duration of the event, we have to subtract the final time minus the initial instant. So we write 125 minus 1, it will give 25 minutes, and this is the duration of the event. What are the units of time? The SI unit of time is seconds. It is notated as the letter S. We have three units of time, hours, minutes, and seconds. And here's the conversion. If we want to convert from hours to minutes, we have to multiply by 60. So every one hour, it equals 60 minutes. If we want to convert from minutes into seconds, we have also multiply by 60. So every one minute, it's equal to 60 seconds. Now if we want to convert from hours to seconds, we have to multiply by 3600. So every one hour, it equals 3,600 seconds. Now, if we want to do the reverse, and if we want to convert from seconds into minutes, we have to divide by 60. And from minutes into hours, we also have to divide by 60. Let's do the following example. A bus leaves tire at 6.45 a.m. It reaches Beirut at 8 o'clock, rests for 25 minutes, then leaves toward Tripoli. 
The duration of the journey by road to Tripoli is 1 hour 30 minutes. Now before we start, let's draw a timeline. The first station is Tyre and the departure time is 6.45 a.m. The second station is Beirut and the arrival time to Beirut is 8 a.m. Now we write the duration of the rest in Beirut which is 25 minutes. The journey from Beirut to Tripoli also take a duration of 1 hour 30 minutes. This is the timeline for the whole journey. The first question in this example is that we have to indicate the starting time of the journey. As we said, the first station is Tyre and the time that the bus leaves Tyre is 6.45. This is the starting time. The second question, at what instant the bus leaves Beirut? As we said, the bus reaches Beirut at 8 a.m. And it takes a rest in Beirut. This rest is for 25 minutes. Now we have to add 8 o'clock plus 25 minutes. It will give 8.25 a.m. And this is the instant the boss leaves Beirut. At what instant does the boss reach Tripoli? Now we have to add the starting time from Beirut and the duration it takes from Beirut to Tripoli. So we write 8.25 plus 1 hour 30 minutes. It will give 9.55 a.m. And this is the time in which the bus reaches Tripoli. The final thing, we have to calculate the total duration of the journey. Now to do so, we have to subtract the final time which is 9.55 minus the departure time which is 6.45 and the answer is 3.10 and this is the duration of the whole journey which is 3 hours and 10 minutes. Let's do another example. The physics period in a school starts at 11 a.m and ends at 11.50 a.m. The first question, does each of the times 11 a.m. and 11.50 a.m. represents instant or duration? So as we said, these times are the starting time and the end time, so they represent instants. The second question, find the duration of the physics period in minutes and then in seconds. To find the duration, we have to subtract the final time minus the initial time. So 11.50 minus 11, it will give 50 minutes. Now if we want to convert it into seconds, we have to multiply it by 60. So 50 times 60, it will give 3000 seconds. This is the end of our physics lesson today. If you have any questions on the worksheet, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all updates.